Hello everyone, welcome back to our How to Master Your Opening Series. I'm Filippo. So this week we'll continue what we left last week, which is the Season C opening, and we discussed how we ended up with a moil of black down there and how to reduce it from a white perspective. So we covered. This joseki is the attached joseki, and then we are left with the one space jump. And what if white do a forcing move here? So the traditional joseki we learned last week was this. And the whole point of this forcing move is that if you connect as you this, you still go three three. This force move will be helpful for me to reduce the potential in the center, which makes it more difficult for black to develop something in the center. However, as a counter, what white want to achieve, black will now simply not playing here. Instead, black will play something in the center. For example, go here. And then white play a nice move, and then black will try to maybe develop the center by doing this, or Tanuki to invade the three three. So the disadvantage of playing this forty move is that later on, if you play the three three, the nice move here is not so severe as compared to the original shape. Like this, because if you attach, white extend, black extend, there is a disconnection here, which allows black white to capture this star point stone, which is very huge. But after you play this forty move, even though you play a nice move, I can just block you, and in this way, this becomes a very bad move. So the value. Of the three three, is reduced if you play this fourth move. However, considering black is having a huge moil down in the center, it's still considerably more more if valuable to have this exchange instead of just playing the last move directly. However, we know that this is not the only response of black. Black can choose to counteract of what white is trying to do by either playing this or playing this. We'll see it one by one. So if white plays the suji, black goes down, disconnect. So it becomes a ladder. In this case, since the ladder works for white, this variation is not very good for black because even if you can cut it, cut white from this side, we can simply capture it. The direction of white is so good that it reduces the potential of black, and later on, white can choose Tanuki. To protect your own corner, in this way, the efficiency of black is reduced and limited. Therefore, black needs to think of other variation. In this case, connect here. If white goes to the corner, black cut us out. It becomes very complicated, and I don't recommend people with lower than or Q level to try this, because it will result in very difficult fight. Another simpler variation is to extend back, and then what? Black plays tiger mouth. Now white have, can reserve 
a three string invasion later because if you play it now it's not necessarily good because the outside is very heavy and also black might just tanuki because originally we remember that for this type of shape black cannot tanuk it because this extends very huge but after this exchange the arch down there is limited and this is a goatee even if you are trying to play the end game so you, although it's this exchange helps the outside of white a bit it dramatically reduces the value of this extent and now black can just ignore it and go to other places which has bigger value for example invasion so at this point white may also want to just play a nice move out, reduce the potential of center black, and then leave whatever the invasion there to later. This is also an acceptable variation for both sides. So that's the variation of this move. And then black can also choose this, which is somewhat more complicated but straightforward kind of variation. Let's see how will it, it will develop. First of all, black cannot do this because it will allow white to go back directly, which is not very good for black. And so black has to block. After block, white has to go from this way and then black blocks black white disconnect and then black honey white honey black connect white will Atari black connect now you cannot do anything like this because this becomes an immediate threat so white has to protect, protect the outside extend sorry extend and then black goes to the corner or here if white extend black can atari from here which is a very good move and then white connect black now this is although there, there is a code here it's not recommended to be played now because black may just ignore it and disconnect the outside it's not worthwhile so it's recommended that white just takes the outside and then black captures the corner and then white so comparing this result with what we seen previously is like this nice move out. Um, white is stronger, definitely. Because later on, these are all centers. But black has, a, black has a corner and black has a wall here, which helps developing the right side. I think this is a acceptable, acceptable variation for both player so the third response for black is when this happens just tanuki because the fourth move already reduces the 3-3 three three and it limits the potential out there what I need to do is try to destroy what white have and using what I left the moyo or although the moyo is reduced there is some point value 
attached to this wall. So I just need to limit what I have and I can still probably win this game. However, later on, the threat is still very big. And after this, the invasion here is somewhat severe because this attach makes the black heavier. So if you cannot capture this invading stone and cannot connect either from bottom or top, it's not very easy for white for black to deal with. So in order to be consistent, I recommend black to play this. And after this exchange, you can either choose to invade or choose to develop further because this will reduce the severity of this invasion. And the last pro probable response for black is try to protect the corner. Let's say, for example, I use the Tsuji. And now there is another trendy move, which is this. Originally, we know that this is probably a good shape for, black, for white because you have two stones here and you have three spaces. Uh, as a, the first one to occupy the corner, you don't want the opponent to get a very nice shape. But now from the AI, we know that for this shape, this is a weakness. And for this, there are two kinds of response we'll discuss today. So one is the 3-3 three, three approach directly, invasion directly, and the other one is one attach, one black honey, you play the 3-3, three, three. Well, which will result in different results. We'll see this first. So first, when we see this 3-3, three, three, what we want, we don't want what to connect because if we allow white to just connect this way, this second line invasion becomes a very bad move. So we have to disconnect white somehow. Either by just descending, or go here, or honey. First, if we play here, this is, although it, it's kind of very strong in terms of response, it's actually leaving some bad RG in the corner. Now, what can choose to play outside, just takes the outside. Finishing where we left off. Now we can see that this exchange helps white to have some a living corner because later on you just cannot kill this corner group. I can do a call but I can't even leave it because this is a very classic corner which is alive. Because of the weakness outside, white can make this corner alive. And if this shape is alive, we can see that white both have a wall outside and leave the corner, which means black is left with nothing, which is not very acceptable. So black can, cannot simply play this ugly move to this, this ugly move to disconnect white. Instead, the other choices left are either descend or go, go back. So if you play here, similarly, white will just attach from top. If white, if white attach from the top, it will become similar to what we will have later on. I'll discuss it later. And white can also now descend or try to take the corner. If white takes the corner,
What can we just treat these two stones as lighter stone and try to get some sentence here and then turn to some other places which are more important, for example, limiting the whole board. We can see that although black captures two stones here, it's not probably not as big as I have the corner plus the side. Because in from a po point point of view, uh, white has a corner, which is more efficient in terms of having points. This is probably only 10 plus points. If you play some more move here, it's more likely that you make white stronger and stronger. And the white will develop a moyo more, which is bigger than what black has. So, the most severe counter counter reaction to this three-three invasion is just to get disconnected. I, w I, I want not only disconnect you, but I also want to save one stone here. In this case, if you continue to leave the corner, I'll probably save a stone. And then I probably save this because I already dis I already connected this second nice stone and now I can try something more aggressive like a panzer to attack it all. Or I still jump, but later on it's like this is stronger than what I compared the previous result. So white again now is not very satisfied with this. So white will have the outside. If you now turn back to protect the corner, let's say something like this. I'll just play this. Now you can see that although it's like you have the down, downside there, you, you have the corner, but it's somewhat still bad in terms of RG. And then white is very strong. If you do something like this, for example, I imagine you, you still need to protect the disconnection somehow. I just take the outside. So the invasion here is now not achieving what it wants. So. Black will still play this. Now if white extend, black can just kill the corner by maybe playing. So because this is a sente, so the only way to clearly capture white is here. Normally this shape is still acceptable for white, but since black has a help of this stone, the RG here is not very severe, though normally you have this RG. But now, even though you have this RG, it's still not very likely for you to make a living from the side. So this is considered to be slightly better for black. As a result, at this point, I'll turn to leave this corner. or just play this for. If you try to disconnect me, this will always be a sentry. Now because this, this is a goat already, so according to AI, this will be an even game and uh, it all depends on whether black can get this clap using this code as a threat. Uh, it's again quite difficult to handle because we know that AI Joseki turns out to be very intense for both players. If you want to master the, this variation, you have to play a lot.
in order to know the follow-ups and how to deal with this variation later on. So, since this is kind of complicated, there is more simpler way for Y to respond, which is attach first and then go get the three three. Although it seems strange because it leaves a very big disconnection here, but since this is even bigger, so even black destroys the shape of outside of white, white has a corner and that has a strong head here, which compensates what's lost here. So this shape is still not acceptable for black. So black has to separate white. Again, this will turn back to what we discussed before. This is not good for black. So this is not no longer working again, too, because now White can go here. And we can see now this becomes a very bad move for black. So the only way left for black is try to descend. Now black co white covers the outside because if you leave it, if you leave the corner now, black just tanuk and could go here. This becomes a very bad exchange. So what takes the outside? And then black can choose to develop what RG left here and start a fight. Now it depends on whether white wants to cut this or connect or Atari from the top. Mm, it depends on the style you play. But there is some simpler variation like this one. This is the best shape to for black to capture the corner cleanly. And then white can choose either to catch this or develop what's left side. So this is also a, an acceptable variation for both players. And I think it's a simpler it's the simplest and the most controllable variation that both players have for this type of variation. Some other uncommon kind of ways to protect the corner in order to respond to this approach. First is this. So this Descending down is usually seen playing by players who are sensitive to points, especially corner territory. They still want the side, but they also want the corner. So how to respond to it? So naturally now this stone is weak. If I jump out, there will be a direct forcing move here, and then black will take the side. Mm. It's still playable, but it might be too it might be too heavy for white to trade later on. If I jump, black will probably do some panzer hit. So I will just make myself safer before I invade the black. And now immediately black may want to attach. If white respond, let's say not very cleverly, it will become a shape like this. You can see that the black has the side and the corner together in a very efficient manner. If they play something like this, it will be very good for black. So at this point, although this Atari is an immediate kind of counteraction, we want to commonly just respond by this. Even in this shape, even white black plays something here, it's a goatee, and I can invade. 
And no matter what you play, it will not be as complete as what we see before. More importantly, later on when we Atari, we will extend instead of just capturing this stone, which means complete destruction of this whole model down here. If Black choose not to develop here and do something like this, the crucial point to destroy this this kind of shape is here. Later on, the most the correct way to respond is playing some ugly move here, and then black can choose white can choose to invade at which every shape you want. If black choose something like this. Here is another good move to remember. Later on, I can either achieve this or achieve this. The two, the two points, I will get one. Other than this, the second nice move is another way for me to protect the corner, and it is more, even more aggressive than this one. In this way, if you descend, I'll do a panzer. Now I reduce, now I limit your chance of invading the 3 3 directly, because if I do the panzer directly, you will just take the 3 3. But now, because of the help of this second nice, nice move, you cannot invade. And then if you follow the Joseki here, we can see that, I mean, I, I still considerably have taken a corner aside, but now you are ruthless. Although this is still playable, I mean, for white, I Consider this to be slightly better for black because it drives white out without a root. And then the shape here has a lot of RG which may result in some dangerous condition later on for this white group to make a living. The reason why white is not very good is due to this descending. So if you, at the beginning stage, if you, your opponent plays second line moves, it's better not for you to follow them. Instead, you still want to play whichever bigger. And now there is, although there is a, this kind of things going on, if you follow it, then it's again quite decent result for black. But what you can do is ignore it. Although you have this kind of this kind of stones here, this stone here leaves bad RG for black already. I'll just do something like this, like this. Take it. This exchange is not we can assume that this is a normal exchange that is slightly better for white because it leaves more argue outside. And now, although this shape is not very common, we think that it's totally acceptable, acceptable for white. And the last uncommon move for black is this one. It seems like a Joseki of the small eye but with a shift to the fourth line. If you play the 3-3, three, three, it will likely to be on a Jersey key like this. And this disconnection is now not the crucial one and black needs to develop the center as large as possible to compensate the loss of territory. 
if white feels that the truth to invasion is too extreme, white can also choose to maybe a nice move out, but it again will result in another good move, which is this one. If white takes a, if white extend, black block. Now it's like we have seen this shape previously, but this will result in a weakness here, which needs black for one more move protection. If I shift the stone here, even if Atari I can protect instead of connecting, which means that I can probably save this stone to some other more important place like the approach, which means that this result is good for black. If you play some forcing move here, although you make black to protect this move, this is a very bad exchange for white because it reduces white's liberty. As a result, white would need to figure out something else instead of just extend, perhaps get in the corner. If you play this, I'll just go out, you block, and then I take the corner. Still, I think the most simple and acceptable way to counter this is the special invasion. And it will always, almost always, end up with this variation. And this variation should be remembered by all players. So that's probably the, all the possible, I mean, most of the possible variations that led by this kind of approach. There are other kinds of approach, for example, other than this and this. For example, this kind of invasion, or 3-3, three, three, or attach. If I play here, there are two kinds of responses. This is most likely seen in some handicap games. Uh, some, for a more conservative kind of play, you want to protect the corner first, take the root, by descend, and then attack. Just simply follow the pace of white and it will be acceptable for black. This is very simple. And if black wants, to, wants a center, it will lead to some very famous kind of variation. Attack first. We can see this is a double Atari. And uh, it won't work if black can, has a ladder working for black. Let's imagine if this is a star for black. Black can go here. If you extend, I'll just capture this. If you cannot use a ladder to capture me, it will, won't work for what? If you capture, I'll just cover you from the center. But in this case, since there is a white star, this actually works. So black can only capture this stone. So this is a very classic good move for white. But if we closely look at it, it's still black is actually ahead. Because the corner and this side is so big, even though you capture me a stone here and you destroyed my shape, this group is a weak group, actually. Because with the help of this wall, this two stone attached to the, this flower here is actually attacking. If you cannot capture these two stones, this 
this group, white group will have to make make some route or jump out or nice move out, but they, they are all have no points. And the bottom right corner is very big for black. So we can see that the classic textbook variation is actually good for black. So what we'll probably have to play some one space jump here. We can see that even though you can make a living down there, it will be very limited to very small space here. And by attacking this weak group, back will probably have the bottom right corner and the rest of the moil solidified. So as we can see, this invasion is not what black should be afraid of. What is more actually more recommended by AI is this kind of attach. But before that, we need to know why 3-3 invasion now is not very good. If we play the classic AI move, we can see that the two walls of black converges to the center, which become a very big model. I don't even try to play some trendy AI move like this or extend. It will make the model even more complete. Uh, we'll discuss this 3 3 invasion in our later lectures. Now let's just conclude that the 3 2 will result in unfavorable direction of white. So what what can do? White wants black to attempt to go down from this side so that I can take the side which is solidified by black. So we attach from this side. If you honey from outside, I'll extend. Now we can see that it, it returns to some shape we're familiar with. It's the 3-3 three, three Joseki. We know that white has no reason to be unhappy about this, this shape because it becomes a sente joseki of white to take the corner first. We know that the one who takes the corner first should have advantage. But in this case, the black takes the star point first, but it ends up with uh, joseki favoring white, which is not very uh, acceptable, even though your direction is favorable. Instead, black plays a three honey inside. Now white extend out, black has have two has two choice. One is to connect and then black gets the side. This is very big, but white can just jump out. Although you have some good move here to disconnect me, I can just get it back or reserve this reserve the center of this Atari and then maybe just go down there or I can even try something like this or I can play a nice move down there it's all okay if it's even possible for me to honey outside if you clap I'll just extend out In this, in this case, although you, it seems that you take the both sides, this nine of white stones just disconnect you from the center, which cuts you off. The efficiency of white in this variation is totally acceptable. So, in order to be more efficient for black, black sometimes tries this. In this case, if you 
you play this move, I'll just take it. Now you can see that later on this becomes more severe. And if you play here, it seems that the second I descend will take some of your eye space here. Now white is not very settled in this case. What white can do is one step back. Now you can see that this doesn't work because it will force white to play a very nice tiger mouse shape. And if you play something here, it will leave me some very good second I two space nice move here. If you cover me, I can either get out or play a second I move. So that's the beauty of this attach is that no matter which side you choose it will be acceptable for me. That's why this is considered now to be an acceptable move for white to reduce a moyle of black if you have some very big moyle on the right side. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture. Thank you for watching. So next week, we'll talk about some other ways to develop the right side moyle instead of just the standard thing. Maybe the third line, and what about we protect our corner from this side or this side? We'll discuss it later in our lecture. So again, thank you for watching. And if you are interested in our video, please like us and subscribe us. And please do remember to follow us on our social. And if you have any questions or interested variations that you want to discuss, please leave a comment down there. Bye bye.